What's up guys, if you're interested in getting sweet altars like these every month, you can do so by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. Welcome back to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it however you're doing it, where you're doing it. As always, this is brought to you by you. The patrons. The patrons. Of which we have a lot of you to thank. Uh, um, welcome, all you new guys and girls. Yeah. To um, the, do we have an audience name? Like a bucket of... No. I was thinking about that, actually, weirdly, the other day, because I was mm. watching Day 9. And he was like, oh, day yeah. nights. And I'm like, we don't have that. <laughs> no, we sure don't. We probably should. We didn't consider that when we named us. No. You the know? It Resolvers. That sounds I, so good. I, we are going to put it to a vote. <laughs> yeah. If you want to be the Bodie McBoat faces. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kevin and I haven't decided for putting it to a vote. Let's we'll table Comment that. Comment below. We'll ideas. table that. Um, so we do have a lot of patrons to thank. I apologize because it's a bit of a long list, but we are going to thank everybody because that's what we do. Uh, all right. Are you ready, Will? Heck yeah. We pre-planned for this. We're excited. A okay. Bit. Devin. The biggest. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. Considerable. <laughs> Sasha, <laughs> I think. Enormous. Frederick. The extreme. <laughs> Fabian. The high. Daniel. The immense. Finn. The strong. Carter. The tremendous. Will. The husky. <laughs> Zachary. The mammoth. Brandon. The abundant. Nick. The ample. Grim Feast Games. <laughs> who is big league. Logan. The colossal. Juan. Who's excessive. Nick. The extensive uh, <laughs> person. <laughs> Dale. The extravagant. <laughs> Taylor. The gigantic. Pasquale. The humongous. Phoenix. The inordinate. And Ryan. The lengthy. <laughs> Thank you so much for for being patrons of our, our little content stuff. So our, my idea was to look up synonyms for great. Turns out a lot of them are for size. <laughs> um... <laughs> But that's just indicative of my appreciation for you. <laughs> indicative. Um, yeah. Wow. Guys. <laughs> we really do appreciate all what the support, What a note guys. to start on, yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is a good one. Uh, really, really do appreciate the support, though. It is tremendous. <laughs> Ayo. Uh, but, Would you again, say it's gargantuan because that was next? <laughs> if we had 22 this month. Man. Whoever's the next patron is going to get <laughs> such a good one. Uh, I like that idea. We're going to do that every time now, though. Super. We'll pick um, a word. And uh, then you can guess it. Yeah, there you go. That's good. I know, dude. Man, I should be. I should do this professionally. On the fly. <laughs> on the fly. Uh, also, really quick, we uh, wanted to thank you guys for participating in our giveaway, the thank Commander you. 2019 All giveaway. The entries. Uh, our good friend Hunter has won that one. Uh, congratulations <laughs> to him. <laughs> this was Fireworks by far our biggest giveaway oh yeah uh the growth off of this one has been tremendous thanks to all of you guys so welcome everybody yeah thank you welcome all you new people i hope you're enjoying the content today yeah. we're talking Ooh. about the band we and got all the pleasant yeah. stuff out of the way because now it really kind of gonna go downhill it sucks man yeah. there's like a lot one. of changes dude i don't Lots like this of changes one. um so we're gonna talk about the band restriction announcement yeah. that was announced on the 26th so like a day or two ago yeah this whatever mon monday as of we're recording this it was today so um shh, 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 the people, anyway they don't need to know they need to know <laughs> um all right but uh before we get started we are mm -hmm. gonna do our random card of the day ah, so three it. two one Maybe if it's going to load. Yes. Oh, oh dude. Hellcat Hellcat Tyrant. All right. Uh, this card is sweet. So it's a 6-5 for 4, 2 red. Uh, it has flying and trample. It is a dragon. Yep, 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 uh, yep. When it deals combat damage to a player, gain control of all artifacts that player controls. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if you uh, control 20 or more artifacts, you win the game. Yeah. So Pretty sweet. <laughs> it does uh, two really cool things. Yeah. Uh, it is a bum that flies. That's already <laughs> awesome. If it was a 6-5 with flying and trample alone, yeah. I'd draft it every time. I was going to say, it's still great. Yeah. The fact that it can sometimes win you the game just outright. Say, that's <laughs> all just... Alternative win conditions are always yeah. welcome. Not uh, only that, but you you take stuff. Yeah. Like, I mean, it just helps great. you 
it further yourself yeah. in the game. Even if you can't win off of it, it's yeah. still going to get you. Even there. if they have a rinky dink artifact that like taps a creature down or something. Cool. Like, who knows? You what now it is. own it. Yeah, so, it's yours. And Congrats. you didn't have to play it. So. Nope. You didn't pay uh, for it. And worth noting too, the trample here makes it really easy to deal damage to players. Yeah. It's super super nice. Yeah. Um. So love this card. One yeah. of the few really great cards from Gate Crash, I would say. Uh, that's true. Although we did have there were a few, but yeah, Hellkite Tyrant, one of the mainstays for sure. I uh, think so. Great commander staple. Yeah. Uh, in oh, my opinion. God, yes. Like 100%. for sure. If such you're out to win a game card. of Commander and you're in red, I mean, this is the way to do yeah. it. Uh, definitely awesome we actually got a good card on the random card of the day it happens like it's like one out of ten times man yeah it's very rare that's excluding the mountains that we've seen oh twice dude that was now. the funniest thing when we we've have gotten it twice we have gotten it twice and when it's tyler was on, yes. and it, was, it was like his welcome episode and of, he looked terrified he was terrified <laughs> it was funny oh um, god man, what a great time in our lives uh anyway <laughs> the banned and restricted list is all we're going to be talking about today because there are so Lord. many things to talk about uh how do you want to start this do you want me to start or you want to let's no let's start like let's read do through standard oh, okay how about this standard yeah. vintage modern that's fine with me should we just read through the changes first yeah let's okay go ahead and do that standard change rampaging ferocidon has now been unbanned we'll talk about why in a bit Modern, uh, Hogak, banned. Faithless whoop, whoop. Looting, also banned. Oh, no! Stoneforge Mystic, unbanned. What? Right? I have uh, our own soundboard now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Vintage. Not that a lot of people are able to play Vintage, but it, right. there's actually a lot of changes yeah, here. Yeah, for real. Uh, Karn, the Great Creator, has been restricted. Mystic Forge has been restricted. Mental Misstep mm -hmm. has been mm -hmm. restricted. Golgari Grave Troll also restricted and yep. then fast bond has been unrestricted which i think is an interesting one yes and we'll talk about why in just a bit but uh why don't you kick us off with standard sure so standard uh this is i think kind of controversial although it kind of comes in at a weird time i say yeah. that because uh rampaging ferocidon doesn't have a lot of time left in standard um yeah that's true it's got i mean it's got a considerable amount of time it's like over i think it's over a year still but is it really? I think so. Before hmm. Ixalan rotates, I thought that was is that this right? rotation. I'm pretty sure that's this rotation. That like is I'm right. almost positive. No, no, that is um, right. Because Ixalan, because we already had. Oh goodness, yeah. I so don't, like it has very, very little time. Yeah, left. this seems kind of silly. Um, yeah. But they unbanned it, or let's talk about why they banned it initially. Yeah, um, that's fair. So it is a red card that keeps opponents from gaining life. Yep. And gives you uh, like automatic pings whenever you play little dudes. Yeah, you basically know, deals one damage when a creature comes in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's an excellent card in red. It yeah. does very good. Uh, it would take over drafts at some points. Um, it is definitely uh, a card that can put you ahead a considerable amount. So when Ixalan was in, red decks were really taken over. Mono red was kind of like the big one. That was oh, when, it was definitely yeah. the takeover deck. Yeah, I mean, Chain Whirler was ridiculous you know threatening everything <laughs> right so uh yeah i mean banning it kind of seems like a no-brainer this is the yeah. card that would take an already broken deck and just kind of push it yep you know even further exactly. um, so banning it makes sense unbanning it now i don't like i don't really i don't see the point i don't either um just keep it banned because red decks were doing fine they are still yeah. like they are not dominating like they were which is I good it's fair definitely um, but they're still getting played. Right. They're still getting played. They're still competitive. Yeah. Um, they're not, like I said, they're not takeover, but yeah. Um, their defense or reasons, I suppose, for unbanning it. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen the emergence of some other decks um, that are kind of pushing the meta and letting, like, helping red decks fall off a bit. Right. Which is fine. Well, the uh, two they mentioned was, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. was Scapeshift and yep. then Orzov Vampires. Right. right? And, yeah, yeah. like, I, I mean, I get it because those decks are kind of like, okay, we're just f either flooding the board with lands or flooding them right. with creatures, and that's how we're going to win, which I guess leads to creatures with, in the case of Scape Shift. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't know. It just seems like kind of a random unbanning. Like, who cares that they unban this? You know what I mean? Like, I guess it's helpful, yeah. but like. It's helpful for red decks specifically. I don't think that there's many other decks that I get yeah. rampaging for Ocidon. No. Because the other decks in red. Although I will say this, um, Naya dinosaurs might. Yeah, because you know, it is actually get... a deck right now. Mm -hmm. But it's again, a, yeah. this all takes place over like what? How 
how much time do we have left until months. that's the thing like right who why unban anything that's going to be rotating out that quickly yeah i don't know um it keeps a few decks still relevant i suppose like yeah, but... it because the, the field would shrink i suppose if um like it turns out that a few archetypes aren't competitive like yeah. red decks if they are actually knocked off which i don't think that they are necessarily no i mean they still see play yeah i mean if we if we look at arena numbers best of ones is like mostly mostly red, red deck. if it's yeah. if it's not mono red it's like feathers yeah. or america stuff or yeah, yeah. like something stupid yeah right um but best of threes kind of i mean those kind of change mm -hmm. a little bit right they do um and it's worth noting that rampaging ferocidon remains banned in best, in of, best ones, of ones right, right. For which i do reason. think is a good call yeah because I mean, red gets much weaker after sideboard mm -hmm. you just you know side end stuff that gains your life or kills little dudes yep and, and you're good to go there you go yeah <laughs> um so this is kind of a weird one for me um i acknowledge the points i just think that if look if it was red's time to go <laughs> leave standard <laughs> all right so mm -hmm. be, so be it Mm -hmm. that's the standard we have it yeah. was on top for so long i'm okay with it leaving <laughs> yeah it's it's not it doesn't hurt my feelings it's not fun i don't think it's fun to pilot like honestly i, I mean, mean yeah because it's just you just play a bunch of stuff like yeah. burn spells and little dudes yep. and you win i but... feel like it's piloting a red deck is like if you're on a game show <laughs> It's it's the it's that game where you live for these little metaphors that you're about to pull out. <laughs> like when you're dressed, uh, you've seen the you've seen the bit I'm sure where they're in like football pads and a helmet and stuff. They have to run through glass. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's like either I'm gonna run through it or not. <laughs> and you just like put your head down and go. Yeah. And sometimes and you hopefully it works. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Yeah. This feels really really weird to me. It just doesn't seem yeah. like there's a need. For I agree. It. Um, I agree. I mean, it's cool. I guess we'll see a little more of this. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> I, Woo! Yeah. Um, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead to vintage. We'll come back to modern in just a bit, since yeah. that probably applies to a lot uh, yeah, more Yeah, I people. think that's really on all our minds right um, now. Yeah, we're going to hold you out a little longer. But uh, let's talk two cards first. Yep. Uh, Car and the Great Creator and Mystic Forge. Yeah. Uh, two cards that really, really sent workshops over the top. Uh, the sure. the reality is they could pull off ridiculous wins very, very early by just locking out the opponent with Karn. Uh, and then the card advantage that they were getting off of Mystic Forge was ridiculous, and it just okay. made them much more consistent. Um, and so basically Karn being able to pull stuff out of your sideboard uh literally lets you set up a lock no matter what deck you were against. <laughs> like That's beautiful. It was I mean, it's cool, really right. awesome tech, but little too consistent uh, uh yeah, yeah. Okay. and <laughs> worth noting too this is a lot of this has to do with the london mulligan rule because obviously mm -hmm. the consistency mm -hmm. that comes out of that london mulligan rule means that it's really easy to get mm -hmm. a specific card or it's a lot easier than it used to be right uh so yep. you mull down to a karn and then you kind of just go off uh True. karn and some some crazy workshop lands and you're in there so like true it was a little bit ridiculous uh and so honestly to see both of these restricted obviously not banned probably really really good workshops it was yep. already a fairly dominant deck uh in years past uh if we look at the meta right now for vintage it's actually fairly healthy uh and wizards themselves stated mm -hmm. like we understand the meta is fairly healthy at the moment. Like the top 10 decks are all roughly a 50% win rate. So like okay. they're, they're all in like a good standing. Yeah, that's great. But they're kind of preemptively thinking, okay, maybe we should keep that interaction open because this just shuts down all of it. When you're locking everybody out, it just makes yeah. it not as fun. So definitely um, as much as I love to lock people out, uh, well, sure. <laughs> but I, I am in agreement, you know, especially in, an, in a format like vintage, mm -hmm. that interaction is really, really interesting and really fun to watch and fun to play. And if you just don't have that opportunity, you lose interest. I mean, that's oh, just definitely. the reality of it. So it's, yeah, it's already there. <clears throat> I think it's fair to say they're like least covered, least watched format. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, well, no, it, it definitely is. vintage. Yeah. I mean, it's super fun to watch for those who want to see like for, yeah. old school cards if you being played, give a crap, things like that. Yeah, um, vintage it's is really, cool. really interesting. But it is definitely the hardest. I mean, the barrier for entry is way, way higher than any other uh, yeah, yeah. format for sure. Definitely. Um, to give some quick stats, though, Karn, 
uh, prior to the restriction, seeing 18%, seen in 18% of decks, uh, which uh, basically was all workshop decks, which shows sense. you a lot. Yeah. Uh, and it was a 3.9 average per deck, so you're probably getting, I mean, it's a playset oh, yeah, most four. of the time. Yeah, there's yeah. there's no For doubt. Sure. Uh, Mystic Forge, fairly similar, 17% uh, of decks, so mm -hmm. slightly less. Uh, and then a 3.5 average, not as key, but it does give you that advantage, and so it's nice to have up to up sure. three to four is usually the the range so cool all really powerful cards i'm kind of fine to see those restricted yeah uh that's good with me the yeah. other ones <clears throat> i could kind of take or leave uh so one of the big things they were saying was interaction they want to see more of it okay. uh and then they restricted mental misstep right which seems a little counterintuitive which because it's a counter you're uh -huh. like okay that is interaction why would you ban or restrict excuse me interaction like that seems dumb but I kind of understand. So okay. in reading their their reasoning for all that kind of thing, <clears throat> they were kind of noticing that a lot of decks that would never normally run mental misstep were running mental missteps just uh -huh. to counter the opposing mental missteps. Yeah. And so it's Heck like yeah. this huge back and forth where you just end up putting four mental missteps in everything because it's basically free. And then that way you're not as susceptible to the opponents. And then for decks that run a lot of interaction, like Thought Seizes and Hand Destruction, things like that, sure. obviously Mental Misstep handles that very, very well. They just yeah. counter it, and then there is no interaction in that <clears throat> regard. Uh, right. And so restricting this down, I I was a little on the fence with at first, but I'm actually kind of okay with it because yeah. it's kind of just you get into these counter wars that never really result in anything all that interesting happening. And so like you, you also are like down for four slots in your deck because you just start running mental missteps everywhere right to right. to deal with other mental missteps and it's yeah. like well that's not very fun so that's, that's a point they made in the past is once uh variance of variety is kind of gone right like it's not it's as not good. as fun because yeah. it's just the same deck over and over again right. so i i, I am kind of with this one uh mental misstep is truly a very powerful card yep. especially in a format that is vintage where you see a lot of one mana things and yeah. some crazy crazy stuff happening early mm -hmm. uh so i'm cool with that yeah. um golgari grave troll also restricted this thing has gone just a love hate man with wizards and this um, ugly boy it was like like evil unbanned and modern banned and modern unbanned yeah. banned like it's just going yeah. back and forth um and it's the same reason i mean it's yeah. just what we said you see the same graveyard decks over and over it is a four of and every uh, deck it's in well yeah and it hits a 16 percent of decks oh also really quick some stats on mental misstep 65 percent of decks ran Got mental it. misstep over half yeah and it is a 3.9 average so you're looking at yeah. about four that um, checks out. uh golgari grave troll not quite as many decks but obviously well it all just, the decks it's that any it's, dredge deck right is gonna run it it's the yeah. best dredger so it's just really the fact that it makes those decks way too consistent yeah. is the problem uh and so to see this go is fine i love dredge it's a it's a love dredge hate thing fun. for me but um i just wish that they'd make up their shit or get off the pot wizards exactly like... <laughs> that's my thing like they keep going back and forth with these um, yeah so that's kind of where that is there's not a whole lot to talk about just because it's been said before with the grave troll it's not yeah a... i just want to know are we making dredge good? <laughs> no, That's my not. thing. Like either make it good or just stop. Like yeah. I don't know what you're doing. There's I feel like there's enough graveyard hate, but they keep banning the troll. Yeah. And like taking things from dredge. It's, I don't It's just stupid. Is dredge too good? Am I dumb? No, I mean it wins random tournaments here and there that I don't expect it to. Well, it recovers really quick too because sure. everything is just anything in your graveyard is up for grabs Cake. basically. Yeah. So like sure. you have to have an exile on the graveyard otherwise you know you're kind of just in the clear and so like when we talk about hogak i'm sure we'll come up with this oh boy <laughs> we'll, we'll pass that on to hogak because we'll get there in just a second right, right, um, right, right. fast spawn has been unrestricted this is the last change for vintage yeah uh fast spawn if you don't know very very powerful card one yes. green for an enchantment you can play as many lands as you want, but you have to pay one life for each extra land that you play per turn. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, there's a lot of broken stuff you can do with this. Corsair of Crufix, if you can play a bunch of lands off the top of your deck or even any lands, you start gaining or I guess netting zero life. Uh, and oh, so yeah. you can just not lose life for playing extra lands, which is great. It's pretty um, good ramp. Pretty good ramp. Yep. Uh, Crucible of Worlds, obviously. Fetch lands, uh, strip mine, wasteland, all those kinds of things. Uh, there's a few kind of random combos that you can get, like infinite one ones. Uh, 
You can get infinite life with Zeron Orb and things like that. Mm -hmm. Lots of really cool stuff. Um, but in looking through like the list of combos that I was finding and stuff, uh, the the things that came up were one of two things. Mm -hmm. Either one, you don't actually win right away. Right. Uh, in the instance of like one ones, you get a million one ones. Great. They can't attack right then. Yeah. Like you sweep the board and you're just done. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm there's a little bit of like a, a turn off that you kind of have to take after doing a combo like that. Or uh, like in cases of the infinite life combo, it's actually a little bit tricky to set up because you have to have Zoran orb uh, fast bond, and then s a certain number of lands in your opening hand to be able oh. to do that right off the bat. <clears throat> and so like you kind of, it's a little bit trickier to set up. It's a That's fragile. all. Yeah, okay. it's a little fragile. And so, and technically infinite life doesn't win you the game. Just saying, um, <laughs> Yeah, sort of. Hey, against a mill deck? <laughs> All that right. life doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah mill and vintage. Sure, buddy. <laughs> hey, it's painter, fine. servant, yeah. and grindstone. That is a deck. Yeah, it does well, right? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, regardless, Fast Bond, I actually think is going to be a really fun card to have. Uh, I do a too. Four of. I'm <clears throat> not opposed to this at all. Um, Fast Bond is one of those cards that if you have multiples of, it just kind of sucks to have multiples of <laughs> like it's true it doesn't actually help you to have more copies it's just the consistency right. of getting it early sure. and so like it's nice to be able to get that early i think yeah um i i mean i'm not necessarily on the fence but i'm <clears throat> hesitant only in that it's vintage like there are yeah. a lot of broken things already and i'm sure there's stuff that people will find now that you know maybe but the like ceiling for all right this card is vintage playable is yeah. pretty high right oh yeah absolutely. so i think the power level of a card has to be set for vintage these days yeah for it to work i think okay um so i'm i think it's probably safe um yeah it, it'll help it'll <laughs> help those jank decks be a little that's the thing cooler, i think it I is just like kind of a i mean there are certainly decks that run fast spawn that are very successful and very very good yes um but they're not necessarily reliant on fast spawn no uh, and i, I think, think that's I mean, the key having like because <clears throat> what you put maximum three and that's like i need yeah, fast that's spawn the to make thing. it work like i kind of don't want four copies right. in my deck like right because with the london mulligan i don't really like you don't need it that no. much and like for if you got two fast bonds in hand in vintage that's a game changer like if you have one piece of or if you're down one piece of interaction or one mm -hmm. piece of hate that you could have had instead now you have a double up of fast bond like that sucks oh yeah like that's a setback in vintage where yes. like you're doing some crazy crazy stuff early on yeah uh and so yeah it's nice because you can potentially get some fast bond combos off earlier but i don't right. think that it's it's gonna be game breaking I don't think so either. It's probably um, it's probably safe, but yeah. I say that uh, setting myself up for safety, <laughs> just a safety net of safety net. There's probably maybe yeah, something, of course, yeah, which of is course. a little bit cheeky, um, but there so, you, I said it. Whatever, fuck it. It is fine. It's fine. It's yeah. all fine. All right, all right, fine. Um, that's it for vintage, though. A uh, lot of changes to Ooh, vintage. The one with yes. the most changes for sure um uh and all pre the most like of. listed changes i don't the biggest change is not i guess that's clear. i don't think they're meta changes <laughs> no they're not let's all right let's get the pleasantries out of the way hogak the king is dead long live the king uh <laughs> thank he god got, it's yeah i mean it's just a little time. crazy he all right mm -hmm. so hogak was like rorschach in that last scene <laughs> in the watchman <laughs> who just like rips off his weird zombie mask yeah it's like do it <laughs> ban me <laughs> you know they already killed his friend yeah and here he is just still just taking rampant. over yeah so of course he got banned yeah like, of course hoyak decks are too good the great i do have a question to ask really quick with this though throw it at me should they have just banned hogak and kept bridge from below well I thought about this. I did. I don't know. Like, I don't have an answer. I'm just wondering. Um, so initially that was my first reaction. Like, oh, well, yeah. why didn't they unban bridge? Uh, some of the reasons they give for banning Hogak yeah. are that they want less graveyard stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And more, they focus on the <clears throat> stack and the battlefield. That's right? fair. Which, okay. Okay. If that's what you want, that's <laughs> what we have. I suppose <laughs> a little bit less. Like, it's the same soup, but less spices. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, is what I thought. Yeah. At that first line. Yeah. 
So Hogak is banned. And then I read number two. <laughs> and my heart sank. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> Uh, I don't like this one. I'm... I don't either. Ban the Phoenix. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Like, keep... All right. All right. All Just right. say it. Faithless <laughs> looting isn't the problem, necessarily. Sort of. I'm hedge a little bit. You're hedging a bit. A bit. The problem is, okay, here's the reason why they're banning faithless looting, and I'm not saying I agree. I'm saying this is why they have said. It's because it it's... It's an enabler for multiple different decks. Yeah. But the problem with my my issue with that reasoning is that, like, only one of those decks now that they've banned Hogak actually is, like, super good right now. Which one would you I would you say, say the Phoenix deck is probably the best <clears throat> of the graveyard decks, assuming now Hogak is gone, right? So, like, okay. the Phoenix deck, probably the best. It goes in, like, Storm. Yeah. Storm is it you w- could take it or leave yeah. it like it's fine there are different iterations i saw like a twiddle storm deck recently and like yeah. that's cool but like it's still a storm deck you just break up the combo a little bit and you're okay. good to go or right. it just fizzles that also happens quite often in modern sure so like and i'm sure there are tons of decks i could say that like all run faithlessly and there's tons of them out there yeah, but yeah. not all of them are like <clears throat> competitively viable or like tier one decks whereas the phoenix deck and the hogag deck definitely are right hogag deck not anymore there's right. no hogak anymore yep he gone just ban the phoenix <laughs> yeah like, I, dude. Don't, I don't get it that's yes 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 if we leave ban- the storm players alone <laughs> <laughs> you, you took our pro <laughs> what next bolt? yes <laughs> like <laughs> dude <laughs> <laughs> they'll never ban bolt no, and they will <laughs> um they're talking about so in morrow's uh drive to work he yeah. talked about possibly putting lightning bolt in uh standard really yes talked about it dude i'm in in his power creep episode how there's a future where yeah maybe whatever i could see it yeah I, i'm in i guess but uh back to the tragedy at hand <laughs> the tragedy at hand. yeah um you kind of i'm a, i'm spiraling a bit i was shocked yeah when this obviously broke yeah, yeah. Uh, for us um so the the decks that faith is looting went in that were great uh were hollow one besides besides Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, yeah hollow one which took over like for briefly a second and is completely gone now basically yeah like i do not see hollow one at least no you don't really my, either i mean it's a, i'm sure it's still out there yeah I don't it's mean a good that, deck but i just um, mean it's it's very inconsistent it is far from the favorite and that's his problem right yeah. yes it's inconsistent it's one of those high risk high reward yep um kind of decks there's another one let's just roll <laughs> down to the you got this you can do it i believe the team actually remember exactly what you're talking about but i can't remember the deck <laughs> That's the thing. I remember reading this and I'm like, oh yeah, they pointed that deck out. But hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't oh, matter. Uh, Look. Here we go. What? Hollow one. Is it Phoenix and Dredge with Dredge Vine or Bridge Vine or right. whatever? Th- that's right. That's the that's other thing. The other one. With the recent banning <laughs> uh of Bridge from Below, Dredge is already not in like a great spot. Or Dredge no, Vine, rather. Dredge not. It's not a thing. Bridge Vine's not like a great deck right now maybe they'll unban the troll and give us dredge back <laughs> never if they do i quit <laughs> be so stupid. i've said it here first if they unban the troll in modern i quit we unban the troll because we just thought that with, with the recent banning of faith is looting the dredge was really in a position just to come back into the battle i love that morrow voice i hate it i know it's so stupid <laughs> especially because really he doesn't like have it. anything to do with ben <laughs> no he has nothing to do with it <laughs> to be fair he, he's just everyone like beat stick yeah i guess i mean he's marketing to... i mean that's his thing an r&d yeah. lead or something like well that. that's it yeah yeah he yeah. makes magic that's his favorite thing yeah i come at Mario so hard and i'm sorry buddy <laughs> he's probably a really sweet guy uh look my point is <laughs> don't touch it leave it there just leave it there uh, i'm not saying it uh look so <laughs> all of this uh or these two bannings really are just help further their point of they don't want us to play in the graveyard yeah which is like all right i suppose um, but then don't make cards that interact with the graveyard i, I don't know yes but the, i don't think that they envision necessarily a point where the top decks in standard were like graveyard focused that's fair. not standard sorry modern yeah our graveyard that's fair. like they, they go but they just reprinted the ley lines yeah like we have 
we have, have answers. answers for the graveyard yeah. and they work when they and work with the london mulligan rule especially the ley lines mm-hmm. easy to get to but any piece of hate is now easy to get to i mean easier right. i say easy right. but it's easier right right right. you just have a higher chance yeah. and that's fine like let us try to fight it a little bit yeah i mean, I mean give us a shot except for Okay. Hogak needed to be yeah, banned. Yeah, yeah. Hogak needed to be banned. You can talk about banning the Phoenix. I think that's probably a good choice because it would have yeah. decimated the modern format. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's be real. It's it was probably the best, second best. It, you can flip Hogak or Phoenix yeah. for me in, in whichever. I mean, I think Hogak was like definitely a pow- a more powerful. It's deck. the more more oppressive. Yeah, because it recovers so so easily because yeah. you can play Hogak from anywhere. Yeah. basically like it's just it's ridiculous yeah okay it's um, too strong too yeah. strong um but yeah i mean the phoenix gets all the fun red blue stuff that i love but yeah. if it needs to go it needs to go um all still that... don't agree with the no, no i don't i don't i don't and people i saw a meme and i knew i would <laughs> it's it was the reaper meme where he's like opening doors and like oh, yeah. going to the next one and freaking ancient stirrings is the next <laughs> one <laughs> yeah so it was like probe uh i forget probe faith is looting <laughs> some other good card and then ancient strings is next like <clears throat> modern is so fluid and feels so good to play because you have these little good efficient yeah. cards like yeah. and they're just taking them it feels bad it does feel bad it's i yeah. don't like it i, I get that <laughs> modern can't be the wild west of magic because we have vintage and we have commander but it's right stinks. but like it's still you should still be able to have some fun in it. That's, That's I'm what I'm saying. And like playing from the graveyard is not a bad thing. Being oppressive to the point of well, right. you know over overbooking stats and wins and stuff. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. playing from the graveyard, I think should be encouraged. Sure, just it's, not in a crazy fashion. No, well, it an oppressive deck is an oppressive deck. Yeah, it doesn't matter how yeah. you're playing it, I guess. But I just. Right that's ridiculous to me i know i know um that's where we are and then for fan service (laughs) (laughs) right basically dude okay really quick i read the like paragraph on stem forge mystic unbanning and they're just like yeah we just wanted to encourage people to go into a different direction so we unbanned stem forge and i'm like what the heck that's ridiculous yeah i mean i'm glad it's unbanned yeah honestly all right so this is kind of twofold for me on the one hand we just wanted to unban it so people could try out this card. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like that's that's good enough. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Two. Uh I was afraid of this card for a while getting unbanned yeah. because well, we talked about it before. Right, it's living yeah. in modern's past, but uh <clears throat> it's probably fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, like we've got enough ways to kill germ tokens mm-hmm. and enough artifact hate to get rid of a batter skull and stuff absolutely somehow like yeah i mean there's tons of ways to do it but like we talked about it with justin Mm -hmm. uh, on the Mm -hmm. last podcast Mm -hmm. episode like power creep like you mentioned is a thing and modern has gotten stronger uh Mm -hmm. overall it's become a bit of a faster format than it used to be and so throwing a stoneforge in this yes makes for really awesome build possibilities and call blades and stuff like that are going to be a thing but like it's not i don't my prediction i will say now which is rare for me i usually hedge but All right. my prediction is very solidly i don't think that this is going to take over modern by any means i think I this either. is just going to make for a really fun brewing kind of platform for some new decks and things like that yeah i um, mean it, and i do think it will be good in modern i do want to point that out i think it'll be solid but i don't know if it'll be tier one yet i don't either i honestly don't think it's going to be that good just really? because yep yeah, just because you think about what is the best thing like the, the best value you can get off <laughs> forge and it's batter skull it is batter usually skull. Yeah. right um and like i said there's ways to deal with the germ token we have enough removal we have enough mm-hmm. efficient removal etc yeah. uh we can outpace a batter skull now yeah um with all our uh court of calling etc cetera, etc cetera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um stuff like that then you want to talk about all right well there's other equipment yeah you got your swords yep but new swords now with right modern Horizons, right so which th- are definitely worse but still well, new sure, swords. But i guess there's probably magic where you want to stick with Karn the great creator that. you can just pick them all out of your sideboard that's the thing <laughs> that's the thing is there's which is actually kind of interesting by the way well remember the the deck i talked about the one that won uh it was an it was a tron deck with Karn yeah in it yeah yeah that could just pull out whatever they needed yeah it was I love awesome. the the toolbox. Yeah, yeah, it's feel. awesome. I think that's so uh, cool. But but equipment, 
aren't very strong like that yeah the equipment the the swords left unchecked are very strong sure cool right i think they're strong when you can pick which one you need which enforces the card and the great creator stuff so sure sure do you see what i'm saying because like if you're up against like a blue green deck mm -hmm. and you get the sword that has pro blue green whichever one that is. i mean yeah the feast no that's not feast of famine Regardless, it's the one that mills and then throws body tokens out. Body and mind. Thank you. Look at, wow, roll reversal. Uh, anyway, um, let's not get used to that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's uh, really nice to be able to pick out a card like that. Yeah. But again, like you said, there is still like a lot of hate for just yeah. artifacts now. And like as long as you can yeah. hate on the artifacts, who cares? What well, you I mean, even forget any artifact. If yeah. you're pumping resources into playing a creature and equipping which i know stormforge makes it easier makes it a lot easier sure, but yeah it's easier yeah, yeah but again <laughs> there's enough creature removal yeah like stoneforge dies to fatal push oh yeah dies to bolt like yeah she's not durable so yeah. that's fine yeah right um and it, that's without saying any creature that gets the sword doesn't die yeah. magically yeah yeah like any card i think that's strong enough to have haste and is a problem doesn't get the sword because it stoneforge wouldn't go in it yeah like stoneforge probably doesn't see although i'm tempting someone i'm sure like stoneforge doesn't <laughs> see vengevine decks yeah stuff like that yeah, yeah. like there'll, there'll never be a uh oh god it just doesn't need it kind of is yeah you know like that's not the point of the deck I'm trying to think of the colors now it's reduke's favorite mid-range deck hell oh jund no abzan yeah that's the one okay <laughs> like Abzan, oh, I'm saying Abzan, oh, okay. Abzan decks don't. <laughs> I was like really confused. For a well, what's the like bridge? What's the what's the Vengevine Stoneforge deck? What if, it'd be Abzan stuff. Yeah, it'd you be know? Abzan, but that deck, but I don't think is good enough. No, I don't think so either. Like, Definitely not. Wait, um, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Oh no! Here we go. You can wait a minute. Well, now the oh, oh god! Wait a minute. We're talking about this another day because this is going to land Kevin, on like a huge might be. tangent. I don't think it's good enough. Kevin, even if you're... Kevin, no. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> even if... Because your blood gas die, your your little venge vines die, that's fine. The swords stick around. I mean, that's fair, they come but back how many and you slots just do you have two. open in the deck like that? You don't have enough slots for it. It's definitely a new deck. Much of brew about nothing, but it's yeah. definitely a, a new you, deck. Yeah, you would have to do something new, but like... Hmm. I don't think there's enough slots. Uh, what? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Hear me out, Kevin. Oh my god. It's you get you can probably do three and three, maybe four and four. Yeah. Of the graveyard boys. Yeah. Your blood gas, your vines. Yeah. Four stone forge. That's twelve. Yeah. Four carns. Yeah. You don't have to put any of the swords main board. <laughs> well, wait. Does that interaction work really? Because Karn. If you're hearing he a dog them. scratch itself, it's because there's a dog scratching itself, by the way. Deal with it. Because yeah. they go into your hand, right? Uh, yeah, you yeah. exile, you put yeah, it in yeah. your hand, Stoneforge just pops it out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, that could... You're really wanting to brew this now. <laughs> it's too... Here's the thing. It's too slow initially. If it survives... Yeah. It's That's good. the problem, though. It's you good. do have to survive It's it, good. But reoccurring creatures mm. with swords... And stuff like that. That's kind of sweet. scary. It is kind of scary. Do you get to hold on? Okay, wait a second. This is tangenting. Can so we hard. do stone? Is that instant speed? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She has to last a turn. Sure, 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 sure. Because sure, that's sure. the hard part about a stoneforge mystic. Like you yeah. said, you just fatal push it. Right. Like that. Okay, I mean problem right. solving. You know what I mean? Like, but there's a lot yeah. of like efficient removal now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That all takes care of stone. But like, make them have the answers. You know. Oh yeah, I mean, absolutely make them have the answers. But I just mean like, if you know you're up a st up against a Stoneforge deck, you just yeah. kill the Stoneforge every single time. Oh and yeah, like, it's bolt the bird, like bolt the bird. Like, definitely. If you can deal with the Stoneforge, the turn it comes down, which if you sideboard correctly, you should be able to a lot of the time. Then like, you'll be able to handle it. I think. I think it's too slow or too fragile. I should say maybe. Um, I think it's too slow. I'll say that. But I, think I do it's think slow. it's a sweet idea. I mean, reoccurring creatures with swords, hell yeah. Like I'm That's in. scary. It's very scary. Yeah. Um, but, you know, a little bit tricky, I think, long term. Right. I don't, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. 
We'll brew. <clears throat> we'll try. <clears throat> it. We'll try it. <clears throat> All right. We'll see about that. I don't. I know. do think there's also there was a Modern Horizons card. Sorry, we're tangenting a little bit. No, I'm not. Who fucking cares? <laughs> um, <laughs> there he is. Um, there was a Modern Horizons card that's like a one-time uh, Mother of Runes. It gives protection. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you could run that in tandem with Stoneforge Mystic to give the protection. Ooh, two you know Stoneforge? what I'm saying? Two Stoneforge right. to make it last that turn and then instant speed equip. Was it give her a friend? That's not it, right? And I don't remember. It might be, actually. But regardless, okay. it's like, it's sort of, it becomes more of like a white weenie strategy at that point, but I still think it would work. Like, yeah. you instant speed out, or you instant speed speed protect stoneforge if you need to mm -hmm. and then on the following turn you can instant speed out an equipment into onto your you know give the runes or whatever yeah. it is or any other creature that you happen to have and then you're good to go um i think that might be an interesting way to go i think white weenie is gonna love stoneforge a bit more than Definitely. a lot of other things gosh if we're talking existing decks sure um, sure. I'm sure there are going to be a lot of awesome new stuff, new decks that kind of come out of this. Yeah, I think that we'll we'll get some interesting tier two decks. Out yeah, of this. that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, I don't know that it breaks into tier one. I'm wondering if it's going to end up like the Blood Ooh. Braids and the Jace the Mind Sculptors, more yeah. so closer to Blood Braid, I guess, where it's like it's just a good card. Like, yeah, it's Jace did not take over Modern, mm -hmm. Blood Braid did not take over Modern, like Stoneforge, I don't think is going to take over Modern, but mm -hmm. might get played. They might be pretty good. Do we you still splash it in Boggles? Uh, Although, I guess you're not splashing because you have Armadillo Cloak. So. Yeah, you have Armadillo, but uh, maybe. I don't maybe know. it's good there. I don't know. Uh, just the thought. Because they might It's side mostly enchantments. Up. You know what but... you could do just to be like an ass? <laughs> it's something I would totally do. So, <laughs> sideboard. Like, have the stem forges yeah. in your sideboard, yeah. and after they take out all of their single point removal, just start that's <laughs> freaking genius. Just start siding in stem forge mystic. That reminds me of the control deck <laughs> that played in, I think it was Magic Fest this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't have a win con main board. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just that was it amazing. Didn't win. <laughs> no, then... no, but people conceded to it. Yeah. And it did great. So they conceded, and then it had any kind of win it wanted in the sideboard, yeah. and was like, "All right, well, this is how this is how I need to win against this That's deck." Freaking as a because, but I mean, the problem is it's still susceptible to sweepers, which is what they're going to side in right. against Boggles. But the difference being, all these equipments get left behind. Yeah, and so like any creature you draw at that point yeah. is going to be really hard to deal with because you yeah. just pass on all the equipments Gosh. the only other problem though too with that long term i could see is like you don't usually keep a lot of mana on board in a deck mm -hmm. like that because you have like horizon right. canopies to draw and stuff mm -hmm. like that and so yeah. like you might be able to equip one or two things but i think it'd be kind of tough sometimes i mean the creatures are only one mana mostly and so you can kind of get away yeah. with it but well i don't I, know if i if i can equip a uh the red blue sword yeah draw fire nice yeah yeah draw a card and deal two damage if yeah. i just i mean that's nice you get a swing in with that and you're in yeah. good shape and you're kind of like finding your land dude that i way. need to make the boggles deck i love that deck there's a stone forge in it or two i might i don't have enough horizon canopies if anybody mm. wants to give me some horizon canopies i'd appreciate it i love that you always say give me <clears throat> yeah and not like trade me no <laughs> sell me no i might sell i'd, I'd buy it maybe <laughs> no, I'm, <just> <laughs> I'm non-committal that's great uh all right well in summation i did not see stoneforge coming i didn't see Faithless i thought Living they would coming. have already done the stoneforge if they were well that's do the it. thing i thought like they kind of missed the yeah the the fad was yeah. like the last band and restricted announcement or maybe the yeah. time before that um Hogan, think... not surprising mm -mm. faithless looting kind of pissed off about the standard for whatever i don't care who cares that one the vintage stuff makes sense but like yeah. nobody really if you give a damn about vintage yeah i feel like welcome. if you really care about vintage great right. but like not a lot of people do unfortunately Oof. um a lot of things that changed only a couple that really matter <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean we'll see a new day dawns mm -hmm. on modern we'll, yeah. we'll find out it's going to be what interesting. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, Hogax uh, graveyard decks are gone. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace forever this time. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll. They've unbanned yeah. the troll a few times. We'll see. <laughs> um, jury's out.
<laughs> this stinks. Yeah. It's going to be a, a weird time. Yeah. Um, but regardless, that's your ban and restricted announcement. Yep. Uh, as of August 26th, I don't know exactly when all these changes are going into effect online and things like that. It's true. Uh, but they it listed soon. it on the article. They did. You can go um, read it. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. <sighs> yeah. Ugh. Ta-da. That was a long one. Normally our ban restricted is like, oh yeah, they unban this. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot quicker. I mean, this was a lot. Oh, it this was. was a lot. Uh, we do get to end on some crack packs yeah. though since we didn't get to do that last time uh we did have justin on which by the way we have uh we'd like to to plan another time to have justin on and maybe some Heck other yeah. people in the future uh justin huge thank you to you i don't know if you're listening you usually do but yes, you are. um really really you're appreciate him he is a sweet man um really really appreciate him coming on that was For awesome sure. and a lot of people seem to enjoy that so cool. uh really glad that everybody cool. did uh but our crack packs uh, are from our good friends over at Grand Slam. Grand Slam. Comics Thank and collectibles. We really do appreciate it. Portion! We... I need to draft more, dude. Yeah. We'll get into I've been drafting, drafting so. a butt ton on Arena. It's fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, After profit. We do have our gold cards. Mine's Yarok, which I didn't get. What's my gold card? You don't card? remember what yours is. I have no freaking clue. What am I opening? M20? <laughs> 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 oh, I want one of those Cavalier Boys. Oh, one yeah. Of the, Just any of them? The spinny, whirly dirly. I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, well. My rare is Elvish Reclaimer. I got Temple Which I don't of love. Me either. What else do I have? Temple of, yeah, the Temples are like fine, but not great. I mean, they're good if you're in those colors. So I am down to two choices. I have Warden of Evos Isle and Ooh. Iron Root Warlord. Um. This is a tricky one for me, uh, the Lord, because I, I also don't have any removal in the, my pack. The rest doesn't count. Um, no. <clears throat> hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and say mine's Bloodthirsty Aerialist. My pack sucked ass. So. <laughs> mine's not awesome. These two cards are great, though. Uh, I yeah. think... Dude. I think that's it. That card's Although, so good. Flyers, baby. Oh, no, I'm in. I, I get it. I know, but... So, Iron Root Warlord, I think, is way more. Dude, just poop out a bunch of tokens. Yeah, dude. Win the game. Why not? <laughs> poop out tokens? Poop out tokens. You don't summon them? <laughs> no, you poop them. Kevin is a <laughs> unique wizard. <laughs> if you ever fight me in a game of Magic, just be prepared. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm going to um, uh, sneak and show and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god that's good gonna shit out of grizzle brand <laughs> shit out of grizzle brand um but hey i'll get my life back ouch you better um yeah so guys this was not a fun episode no sorry about it i want it to be known that this hurt me yeah it hurt this hurt me emotionally this hurt me physically this hurt me spiritually yeah i need to go uh realign my chakra my oh. my chi is all over <clears throat> the yin yang uh i just I need some time. Yeah. I need um, a moment to mourn. And yet I couldn't. I was <laughs> plucked, thrown into this podcast for you. But we all suffer together. Who am yeah, I to say exactly. that I'm special? Um, Everyone's dying, Kev. I have two things I want to mention real quick at okay. the end of this episode. First of all, um, in regards to Patreon, I hope everybody is enjoying your proxies. Whoop. Um, put them in your command we, put them in your command i'm gonna go ahead and announce what next month's will be do it do it uh so the uh, plan excited is to do uh full art moldrotha Ooh. as the five dollar tier oh now with that you will mm. also get the three dollar tier if you only pledge at three dollars you will only get the three dollar tier but the three dollar tier is going to be full art unstable art the land art kind of thing uh we're doing brainstorm for that one uh oh, and brainstorm. so brainstorm it's a it's a different uh alter than we did on yes. alter, excuse me proxies proxies you get it proxy right these nuts uh but <laughs> it's different it is uh but i really really like uh the brainstorm art i think that one's sweet so hopefully yes. you guys do too uh this is going to be the first of that kind of alter that we're going to or excuse me proxy that we're going to be giving away uh, as patron rewards. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. Yeah. Um, and we'll put up notices everywhere about... You know what? Like, Alter and proxy is so confusing to me. Because it doesn't fucking matter. 
If you uh, alter no, a card, you, you alter can't... it digitally. Well, still, but here's what I'm saying. So the big deal is like it's a fake card. It's not real. Oh yeah, and that matters for tournament play, right? You can't play fake cards. Yeah, but if you alter a card, it's not tournament legal anyway. Yeah. So what does it matter? You Cheeto it really matters dusty. to some people. You look dusty. It really matters to some people. That's all I'll say. Proxy these nuts. I'm labeling them as proxies. Yeah. For everybody so out there, so relax. But calm yourself. It it, I digitally altered them. Deal with it. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Also, just wanted to ask really quick, if anybody is still listening, comment down below. I'm interested to know how you guys are enjoying Commander 2019. Um, oh, yeah. We haven't played it yet, but I do have all four of the decks ready to go. <laughs> here's here's some bad news. Modern got a lot less fun, but here's four <laughs> decks you're going to pick a pot and never play. <laughs> yeah. There you are. Um, there's, yeah, these are, I'm interested to see long term if these like hold up. I don't think they will eh. as much. There's like very little reprint value, which I'm fine with. I don't really care. Yeah. But like the decks themselves are fun looking, I assume. They're yeah. gonna be fun to play. They're but fine. like They're fine. Uh, they don't stand out to me. Um I mean we'll never get the Yidris block again. No. God, so no. that was such a fun set. Though. Dude, that was the best. That yeah. was peak commander, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four um, commander. Let's go, oh, fam. That was so good. Mm. But yeah, um, Dude, I'm that's just interested what we need to, to do is Yidris. He's, Dude. he's got pretty art. He does have pretty art. Uh, I might do you. Stay tuned for Patreon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, thank you, by the way, for everybody on Patreon. We yes, really do yes, appreciate yes. it. Thank you for listening as well. Even yeah, if you're we not just kind of mumble at this point. Uh, even if you're not on Patreon, I still appreciate your company. Yeah, if totally. You... God, what? End this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you for listening. Hopefully you still are. But uh, we really, really appreciate it. Again, Patreon giveaways, all that stuff. Thank you guys for the support. We appreciate it. Yeah, but yeah. we are going to get out of here. Yeah. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. This has been It Resolves. Gargantuan. <laughs> yes! <laughs>